Hello, my name is Alvin Morogo and I'm going I'm doing the UiPath Advanced Training Certification Assignment 1. And uh, so in front of you I'm going to present you the robotic enterprise framework. I'm going to open the so the requirement is to open the SEME uh, SME system which you see here in the system go into each and every work item and whenever there's a work item of the description calculate client security hash we need to change we need to take this screen uh, this string the WIID and uh, paste it into paste it into this system to get the hash here the results hash and copy this information and again bring it back to each and every uh, screen results. So for this example, uh, I'll show you like one of the examples like I've just opened it here uh, Taking it back here. So this 36508 and then putting this comment the hash and This hash is what we have seen is this So let me just put it side by side So this is the hash that we need to put here as a comment and change the status to to completed and this is the final result at the end so you see here everything that is cl calculate clan security hash is completed and if i scroll if i click next to the other uh, in, uh on this table all the other records you see here all of it is selected as completed so i will just show you i will again click on home and then i will just reset the data so that we have everything back to z to 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 the to, to the status open yeah i will go directly into uipath so i'm using the robotics enterprise uh, framework so first of all i'm initializing everything i'm going to process the SEME login and then i'll process all those hash that i've, I've shown you directly there so in my initialize uh, stage, I'm reading all the configure config uh, data, which is the Excel data. I am reading this uh, framework initialization. Uh, so this is the reading now that the real data, this data directly here. So yeah, so this part data and in this is my excel list and you see we have settings constants and assets in my settings i've saved things like the the log the business process name uh the seme url the where we're getting the hash rate the url and my credentials i've also stored that in uh, orchestrator and the working url this is also very important and i will describe it a bit later so for now i'll just close that and then go back again to my ui path so i'm initializing everything i'm killing each and every process that might be open resetting everything back to zero and then i'm initializing this framework yeah and in this initializing framework you see i'm reading all that information from the config and then once that one is done, I'm, I'm moving directly into the SME login. So if I click there in the SME login, again, I'm getting all the credentials. And then after getting the credential, I'm opening the app, which is the SME URL. And I'm going directly logging in, putting in my username, password, and directly logging in. And then I'm just, I just put this such that uh, in case of any errors, it will log an error so this is just find an element but if there's no error it will just continue as as it is so it will continue to and in case of any errors it will just go directly to end processes but in this case it will go into destination which is processing if i click on processing it's just logging some information there that it has started and then it will click on uh work button so so this is the part where it will click in the SME. So it will log into the dashboard. It will go into work items. 
and then in the work items it will extract so it's logging it clicks in the work item and then once it's done it's extracting all the data the data table and clicking on uh, next so this part it will just click uh, next 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 until it's over to extract the whole data table and then once it's extracted i'm filtering on the column type so this part column type and it's uh, wi5 so column type um so this part w column type here and whenever you see uh customer calculate client no sorry calculate client security hash is w15 so it will filter that specific table to that level and then once that is done i now invoke a workflow file of generating the hash and in my hash which is uh, this i'll just open so that i show you so that data table that we've extracted, we are getting the row, which is again WID. And then directly I'm opening the the work item URL. So I would open all that information into, into I'll open it here first of all. So this is the URL that is reading. So that part plus the ID. Sorry, so it's not that, but it's this part. So this part, if I open like an example, you see it's SEME work item plus that. So once that one is open, I extract, I extract the client ID, the client name and the client country. So what I mean, it's just extracting this information here. The client name, client, so that ID, name, and address yeah so that's the information that is extracting and then once that one is extracted it opens the the hash url it will open the hash url paste the information and now extract the hash data that is here in chrome so it will extract this kind of information here Yeah, and then it will extract the information and then it will still go back to the specific, uh, to this specific ID here. So it will open this and then it will paste the hash information here and then it will just change the status to, to completed. So this is an example of what I've done in the past. So this is, you see, it's really matching itself. Yeah. Yeah, so just that's that's the flow. It will complete, update the workflow item, and then there's a pop-up that always comes and says, okay. Yeah. So I'll just close this page, go to my initial main, my main. So this is the workflow. This is what I've taken you through. I have made sure I have, so let's just go back to confirm this. So I'll just go back and then again, reset my test data. So yeah, test data has been successfully resetted, and then I will just completely close all the browsers that were open. And then I will just press run. So at this point, you see it's extracting all the data. from the SME system. Then once that is done, it is processing the information in the background. And uh, in a few minutes, you will notice down in the Chrome area, it will start opening now the, so it's just opening right now. Anytime now, I'm in the virtual environment. Okay, there it is. I was in a remote desktop, that's why. So it's extracting all this information and closing.
closing the window and pasting this information there. So this will continue processing for some time. So it's extracting the client ID, client name, and cl client country. And then it's using that information in this part here, the way it's typing to get the hash. I think there were a number of uh, entries. I think it was almost 10 to 15. Uh, calculate client security hash entries. So this will continue processing for some time. At least for the next two or three minutes next. I think we are almost. Let's see. Yeah, so each and every other time it's closing the window and reopening, especially in, in, in Chrome. That's how I have programmed it and it's working perfectly. So I think we are almost. Okay, then uh, hopefully it's now, yeah. So there it is, uh, everything has been processed. So if I go back to my uh, processor, I will see here in my output, every, all the information has been processed between 347 minutes. So that was it, the assignment. Uh, yeah, UiPath is awesome, thanks.